Hey, I hope you're doing well. Really, really important lesson today. And it has to do with this video that just got published. We had Adam, who's been on Essential Tennis and the Real Tennis Channel multiple times, play against Olive. We've been really hyping up this series with Olive TV. She's a high-level 5-0 female tennis player who wants to get a WTA point and be successful as a as a professional tennis player. She started a YouTube channel. We invited her here to play a bunch of our players. So we surveyed and asked people who they thought were go was going to win. Adam is a player who just got bumped up to 5-0, male player, and he's like a, a pusher type of style. Never gets tired, never misses a ball, and by the way, I'm going to give a spoiler here on the first set of the match. So j just so you know. So if you haven't seen the match yet, you want to go see the, the first set, then go watch it first, then, then come back to this. But Adam never gets tired, never misses a ball, is tenacious, just never, never gives up. But like aesthetically and stroke-wise, doesn't look like anything special. But he's a 5-0, he's a 5-0 player. That basically means he's like top 5% of tennis players who, who play tennis, who compete, like serious competitors. So Olive, on the other hand, super aesthetically pleasing to watch, like incredible athlete, very fluid and smooth, tons of easy power. She's, uh, you know, physically very strong and just a super, super solid athlete. And she just, she looks like she would be a professional tennis player. And so I sent a survey out yesterday to, to draw some more attention to the match. And I asked, who, who do you think is going to win? And 23% of people thought Adam would win. And 70, where does that leave? 77% of people thought Olive would win. And I won't tell you the result of the actual match, but Adam won the first set and I even put out a poll at the beginning. There was like a live premiere of the first part. And I said, who do you think is going to win the first set? And it was about the same. It was about 75-25 or 80-20, uh, thinking Olive was going to win. And I, you know, honestly, I can't say that I, I necessarily, although if you watch the video, you see that I bet on Adam uh, after the first couple games. So I did think Adam was going to win uh, the match. And I thought he was going to win the, the first set. But it's so, the, the thing I want to get across today is it's so um, easy to get fooled. It's so easy to get tricked by aesthetic. It's so easy to get tricked by power. It's so easy to get tricked by a uh, person's intensity and like their um, technical proficiency. And at the end of the day, none of that really matters. It really doesn't. It makes me think of uh, Fabrice Santoro. Uh, if you've been a fan of tennis for a long time, his nickname was The Magician. He was a pro professional player uh, in the 90s and the early 2000s, maybe even the 80s. Uh, he was around for, for a long time. May have been he played in the 80s as well. And nothing he did was by the book, like technically. He had a completely different style. And he he beat, if I remember correctly, he might have beaten Federer. Like, he beat all the top players. I don't think he ever won a singles Grand Slam. But... Guys, it really doesn't, <laughs> yes, technical proficiency counts for something. Like you can't hit a ball on the court unless you have something mechanically correct, unless you have something athletically uh, good about how you move your body and how you hit the ball. Of course, like it counts for something. But here's the big lesson I want you to take away from this first set, which Adam won. When nobody, well, not nobody, 20% of people thought he had a chance and 80% of people thought he was going to lose. The big takeaway on your side of the court is A, don't over-respect technical prettiness on the other side of the court and understand that you always have a shot even when you don't have the better strokes, number one. Uh, number two, don't disrespect somebody who doesn't have that aesthetic and understand that there's so much more to tennis than just looking pretty when you hit the ball. There's so much more to it. There's so much more to winning. When you watch Olive, like she got, A, she was a lot more nervous than she thought she was going to be. She didn't think she was going to be more nervous than a normal match. And I was pretty, pretty skeptical. And that turned out, you know, I turned out to be correct. Um, granted, I have, I have a lot more experience with this type of thing than uh, she does. Like this specifically, uh, this location, this, you know, pr the production and the, the commentary booth and stuff like that. 
So I kind of knew she was going to be more nervous than she thought she would. So that's a huge, huge factor. And I knew, knew the court surface change was going to be a big factor as well. It was. She didn't make excuses about it. Uh, but it was a contributing factor to her just not being quite, you know, her A game against Adam. And the head-to-head, -head, you know, part of it and being able to manage your stress, your anxiety, the nervousness, being able to manage your the positivity, the negativity, like manage your, uh, your emotions, all of that is different than the technical uh, proficiency. Technical proficiency counts, but... Guys, there's so much more. There's so much more to being successful as a competitive tennis player. And you cannot ignore and you cannot discount the rest of it. So 80% of people voted just with their eyes. And by the way, it's very different watching on a screen than it is playing in person. Totally different. So add that to the mix. We got There's like seven factors there. And... It's not the first time, you know, that we we've like really hyped up. If you if you remember our our series against most exhausting player, MEP, it was the same thing, um, except kind of in reverse because uh, he has very like poor aesthetic, but just wins, 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 and that was just really well documented. But there's a big difference between watching on video and real life, so don't discount. The, uh, don't discount your own chances when your opponent looks pretty. When your opponent looks ugly, don't over, uh, uh, don't over, what's the word? <laughs> don't, don't give yourself more of a chance than, than maybe, maybe you should. Like it might be they're actually the best competitor you've ever played. Uh, number three, there's so many for, more factors than aesthetic. There's emotional management, there's tactical management, there's competitive tenacity, there's, you know, hustle, there's the court surface, so many other, you know, factors. And so roll all this together. And like the bottom line is like, tennis is just, it's hard. It's hard to win and it's hard to win consistently. There's so many factors you have to be competent in. And this video that just, it's just top of mind because it just came out this morning. It's just such a prime example of that for me. And so that's what I wanted to share for you today. Don't get fooled by the prettiness. It's, it's part of it, but it's, a, it's not anywhere close to the full picture. So keep that in mind. Keep working hard in your game. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.